Hello, this is Dean Takahashi at VentureBeat. I'm here with Warren Spector of Junction Point Studios, which is owned by Disney. And um, you're here to tell us about Disney Epic Mickey. And the interesting qu question for this Mickey Mouse uh, video game is, um, how do you put a fresh coat of paint on uh, something that is 80 years old? Well, I, I, I didn't really think about uh, about what I needed to do to put a fresh coat of paint on, on, on the guy. Uh, he's he's changed many times over the years and uh, becomes what he needs to be in every medium. Mm -hmm. And really what I wanted to do was make Mickey uh, as big a hero and as successful in video games as he's been in every other medium he's tackled. He's been a huge movie star. He's been one of the, the, the most successful uh, heroes in comic books. He's conquered television, he's conquered theme parks, uh, and you know he's presented in, in a slightly different light in each of those uh, those venues. Mm -hmm. So really what I need to do is find the core of the character, the essence of the character, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, bring that essence uh, out in video games in a new way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty standard stuff, really. Uh, and describe the game a little. It's an action-adventure game. Uh, what, what are you doing? Disney Epic Mickey is, is a, a game that takes the best of action-adventure, the best of platforming, and the best of role-playing, and, and melds them all together. Uh, I hope to come up with something new and different. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of kind of the, the, the way I always work. Take take different genres and, and bring them together to come up with something new. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, for me, it really is most inspired by uh, the action adventure games like uh, the Zelda series, which which I very publicly said I, I adore. So. Mm -hmm. And how do you take experience from making something like Deus Ex and apply it to Mickey Mouse? <laughs> It, it's it's surprising. A lot of people think it's weird that I'm doing a Mickey Mouse game uh, after years of doing you know Ultima fantasy games and S System Shock science fiction games and and uh, Deus Ex you know real world science fiction. But all of those games are united by a single idea, and that is that play style matters. What players do should change the experience. Uh, players should should deal with problems that they get to solve the way they want, and uh, and their, their experience should change as a result of that. And that's an idea that I, I've always believed is um, completely independent of the fiction, the backstory, the hero, the villains. Uh, you can apply that core idea to any game. And uh, luckily it's worked, I, I think, really well on, on uh, Disney Epic Mickey. Uh, you know, obviously players will tell me if I'm right, but I think we're doing, doing a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. and, and paint is actually a, a mechanism in the game, I guess. Uh, this is how Mickey is uh, changing the world around him, I guess. Or? Our, our core mechanic in, in Disney Epic Mickey is uh, is paint and thinner. Uh, you know, as soon as you start thinking about it, okay, Mickey's a cartoon character. That's got to be part of his essence, um, and so he's made of paint. And you know, if you don't like something that's painted, you use a little bit of a paint thinner or turpentine to remove it. And so, how about we give Mickey control over the substance of his own body? And so, paint and thinner was kind of natural. Um, being on the Wii, of course, as soon as you know you have a remote in one hand and an nunchuck in the other, and you're talking about painting, everybody's hands start moving like they're wielding a brush. So, uh, character, gameplay, uh, and and uh, console all sort of came together uh, in in a really nice, natural way. Mm -hmm. um, so, what the player does, obviously, run, jump, uh, do all the things that you would expect to do in an adventure game or a platformer, mm -hmm. but. The big difference is you can remove walls, remove floors, erase characters, paint them back in. Uh, so you can dynamically change the world around you mm -hmm. to come up with your own solutions to the problems that we create uh, for the player. Any art style is, a, is a somewhat different from what we've uh, sort of uh, become familiar with uh, with Mickey Mouse cartoons as well. It's, uh, I think our art style is actually uh, unique. Uh, it's it's inspired by a variety of, of uh, Disney art styles. Uh, there are some aspects of it that I hope have the, the lush, rich beauty of, of a Disney feature film. Uh, there are parts of it that are uh, directly inspired by uh, real Mickey Mouse cartoons, 2D uh, platforming sections that I, I want players to feel like they're in the cartoon. Uh, there are story moments that are um, uh, expressed through storyboard style art brought to life uh, and we even have uh, pre-rendered cinematics uh, they're, they're fairly rare in the game but we have some pre-rendered cinematics as well so we're taking all of these different art styles in the same way that we're blending genres we're blending art styles and I'll be honest with you a lot of people think I'm crazy for that but I love it I think yeah. the variety is really cool and is another way in which we're honoring Disney's creative heritage
And, it, and there's also some sort of darker, sort of mischievous uh, uh, Mickey here. I guess uh, you, you see a different side of Mickey. Uh, you know, it's not so much a different side as seeing a side that other creative people just haven't chosen to express. Mickey's always been a mischievous little guy. If you go back to his early cartoons, he's incredibly mischievous. Uh, and even in more recent cartoons, he's a guy who gets himself into trouble and then finds a way through pluck and courage and, and strength of will you know, to get himself out of it. That is Mickey's essence, uh, that mischief, uh, over-enthusiasm, you know, being really excited about everything and sometimes getting in a little over his head. So I don't feel like we're creating something new uh, or going you know, dark and edgy or anything like that, but uh, we're just expressing a side of, of his character that I think will help make him uh, appealing to gamers and non-gamers alike but it's not specifically, you know, let's darken him up or anything. I don't think that's necessary or appropriate. Mm -hmm. And you've been, uh, I guess, uh, talking about this idea since 2005, I guess, and you're coming close to uh, finishing up. Uh, I think you're, you're going to launch uh, later this year? Uh, yeah, we're, we're shipping uh, holiday 2010. Mm -hmm. and, uh, on the Wii? And, sorry? On the Wii? Oh, yes, we're shipping holiday 2010 uh, on the Wii exclusively. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, uh, thank, thankfully, we can start talking about it now. I've only been able to hit before, but now it's time to, mm -hmm. to really start telling the world what we've got. Great. That's more inspectors. Thank you very much. My pleasure.